hi guys you're welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to draft a basic sleeve and it's very simple you have your requirements i need the length the cap the cap's height then the following measurement rule which i will explain as we go to go on so first we we'll draw a line an horizontal line which is a starting point okay then from there we we'll measure the sleeve length with how long we want the sleeve to be so this is like a potato sleeve i'm using 17 inches then connect the line then we go ahead and measure the calves height then the measurement is your bust divided by 12 plus half inch so after dividing everything i have 3.5 that's my bust divided by 12 plus half inch i have 4 inches so you mark you measure 4 inches down So on this cap's height, the next measurement, you have to take your basic um, body measurement and measure your chest, your chest line, upper chest line. Then you add some ease to it, then you measure it. After adding the ease, my own is 8 inches. Then I think I added another um, a quarter inch to it just for ease after joining the dress if it's too much you can remove it then you connect it in the line just like this slanted one then you measure this and mark half of this line so at the point to measure the half you graze it by half inch also i hope you understand okay so First, we're going to draft the back, the, um, the back side. So you measure a straight line. Then you use your curve ruler. Yes, just watch the way I'm doing it carefully, please. Okay, this is for the back. Then for the front, let's see the way. I'm going to measure that too. So for the upper part, you still use your curve ruler, your French curve, you know when that's available. Then you turn it the other way around for the down part, for your front pattern, for your front sleeve. You can see it's quite different from the back sleeve. Due to the adjustment we did to the to our, our front sleeve, the front arm hole. So we can we see it clearly. Then you go ahead to your sleeve length, the round the circumference around your arm. So whatever you measure, you add your seam allowance. So I add one and seam allowance and you connect it. Yes, I also add my seam allowance to that point. After joining your dress, if your, your sleeve, if the joining allowance is too much, you trim it off. Okay, so that's it with the pattern. And make sure the, the, the if it's the paper or the fabric will be on fold. The fabric will be on fold while doing this. This is very important. And I forgot to add the ending allowance. So I just measure like one inches and I connect it to it as my ending allowance. So we have to cut it out. So I'll cut the back pattern. 
So cutting the back pattern first, please. Okay, then we'll open it up and trim out the front pattern. So our sleeve is ready. You can see the front pattern and the back side too. They are quite different. So this is it, as simple as it is. There's some other method of achieving this, but this is one of the simplest ways. I hope you understand. Please feel free to share your opinion in the comment section. And thank you for watching. Please, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. And to the returning subscribers, thank you for always coming back. So please like and share my videos with your love.